This is easily the most crowded it's ever been. Yeah. At a, at I'm a podcast here. really glad we're no longer in Justin's little man cave. Because <laughs> this would be uncomfortable. I'm really glad I forgot to wear deodorant today, mm. of all oh, days. Oh, God. <laughs> This is the Dark Side Records and Gallery Podcast. It was my birthday, I didn't have to wear deodorant. Oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What, what <laughs> rules do your family instill? <laughs> Smoke a lot of grass and don't wear deodorant. Actually, I feel like those That's, two do yeah. commonly go hand in hand mm-hmm. when it comes to life choices. Probably. Yeah. Do you think it's because of like the natural living philosophy, or is it just because you smoke so much weed you forget hygiene? <laughs> The second. I'm, I'm going to say it's a little column A <laughs> in okay. theory and a little column B in and practice. I, yeah, you know? I agree. Yeah. We have guests. Oh my God, this is going to be crazy. All right, I'll just start officially. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dark Side Records and Gallery Podcast, episode 14. I'm JB. I'm JJ. I'm Berto. I'm Tyler. I'm Jesse. Kim. I'm Jeff. So we have a lot of fucking guests tonight. Holy shit. And I should point out, I invited... Pretty much all these guests, and I did not clear it with anyone, let alone tell anyone that I was inviting these people to the podcast tonight. So I think it's it's a recipe for something delightful. So uh, I, I guess uh, let's uh, everyone who's here, we'll just go around the room and just uh, who some, the fuck are you and why are you here? We're gonna, <laughs> it's our first game and of the get night. Get off my lawn. <laughs> we're gonna start with the guest of honor for this podcast. Tyler Gherkin. <laughs> Are you allowed to announce your own name like that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's my should, birthday. Should we say it like that? I got like three hours left. I'm good. <laughs> I like that you did the applause noise. Yeah. <sighs> I'll, I'll overdub some applause in there. <laughs> Tyler is uh, one of our... Uh, Minions? Uh, I was going to say one of our staff of the poofy-haired variety. Yes. As okay. he was delightfully referred to <laughs> by uh, a customer. Yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm happy to be here on my birthday night <laughs> after work. I've never uh, podcasted before. This is the magic of it. This yeah. is all you're missing. Yep. <laughs> Get some light shining. And this on is the me. first time the lights have actually been mm-hmm. here. This oh, is right. the most magical it's ever yeah, been. It feels special. <laughs> but uh, I actually invited you to do a wrestling podcast yes. for the Dark Side podcast. Yes. We're going to start like a podcast family. Mm-hmm. Is what we're going to do. Like a whole series. Wouldn't that fall under Dark Side? Yeah. It would be, no, it would be like. See, side. I'm I still, consider wrestling fans to be total nerds. I'm so still of the opinion no, no, no. that wrestling. the dork side should be just be a subset inlet of the main dark side podcast. He's just upset because he missed the last one. <laughs> no, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm just saying it's like having two Facebook pages for different things. You would but, have two Facebook pages, for but different you're things. reaching more at the main one. They target different audiences and they bring them all home. It brings them all to the gooch. This is like I was going to say, you're about to go for the gooch. I knew, I knew when you're going to bring up gooch. <laughs> this is like a producer's discussion that we don't need to have on the podcast. We, we got nothing else. Edit, edit, That's true. Edit. So you're it's a Gurk day. <laughs> so, uh, Gurk, eventually you're going to do a wrestling podcast for us. Absolutely. We haven't figured this out yet. Yeah. But. It's going to be the, in case the you best didn't know. wrestling podcast. No, that's actually, there is one called the best wrestling podcast. So it's going to have to be something be the else. better wrestling podcast. I like this already. <laughs> it's like better than movie. Ezra. <laughs> Do you ever hear that story? They were originally called Ezra, and then they got sued by another band called Ezra, so they changed the name of their band to Better Than Ezra. <laughs> Holy shit. And then they had success. More than Ezra? They really yeah. were better. You ever heard of Ezra? <laughs> nope. Exactly. I always sort of like secretly hoped that was the reason they had that name. Now my dreams have come crashing down. So anyway, other guests that we have here, we have our our executive producer, Becca, also on our staff. We're just going to overdub trumpet noises when she speaks. (laughs) Uh, And we have uh, what is actually going to be our first podcast musical guest, performing-wise. Second. No. (laughs) Oh, performing-wise. Okay. (laughs) Fine. Fine. It's It's like we've talked about this already. It Almost. Weird. Jesse Tepper is here. Hi. That's that's Jesse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's going to speak monosyllabically <laughs> through the entire podcast. See, it's it's also my birthday. Two birthday boys. Yeah. Two. Weird. That means your parents were doing it on the same night. Maybe they were all in like one video. No, oh, no wait, one could have been apart. early, one could have been late. You don't know. Look, you obviously don't understand science. <laughs> True. <laughs> 
And the, if I know the thing is, though, I didn't know he was coming, so I didn't order enough Asian hookers for the both of them. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Jesse. It's okay. Sorry, Jesse. It's okay. It's the dark side birthday. I can watch tradition. <laughs> it's really only Gurks. Uh, I have this uh, dream <laughs> for uh, people who were uh, who don't aren't normally here, but I have this uh, vision of doing uh, live podcasts in the store with like an audience, and we'll record it and have. You know, standing room. I am also fifty percent terrified of the things that we're going to say that we're never going to be able to take back. Why do you? Uh, why, when you say there. "we," do you point at me? I gently gestured towards you. I don't know if I pointed. It was there was more than one finger, so that's a gesture. More than one finger is sometimes preferred. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've heard one is too few, three is too many. I would say two. I mean, is just right. You can go up to five. Mm-hmm. That's it's Goldilocks like, number right there. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like Goldilocks yes. when she was fingering those bears. My uncle <laughs> My uncle once got drunk and told me about fisting a woman up to his his forearm. Did he tell you about going duck to fist? Um he might have I don't know. It was a long time ago. I've never gotten duck to fist. You just go straight fist? No, no, I just <laughs> That's saying. fucking terrible. I want to point he out He also got to start about a foot away and just really get the <laughs> the momentum into it. <laughs> The running start is a move I have not tried yet. They don't always survive it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Berto's name is Colossus in the bedroom. <laughs> Dorkside Podcast. So we have two other guests who are here with us, Jeff and Kim. Hi. Howdy. Hi. It's not either of our birthdays. Get out. You can you can still have beers. Oh, there's there's a there's a beer right there for you. Please. There is a beer. I, I tried to get you the least hoppy. That was your, your specific request, was to have the least hoppy beer. So I, I gave did. you. I don't even know how to say this. A Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. The you've never, you've oh. never seen a Pabst Blue Ribbon. I've never seen this in my life. Hmm. She never wouldn't last Brooklyn. a day in Beacon. Oh no. <laughs> or Brooklyn. Or oh god. Brooklyn, but... Or America's America. Best or Milwaukee. Beer in 1893. <laughs> That's correct. Holding strong to that best beer ribbon for a hundred years. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Good job. Wait, wait. While you have that Shut PBR, it. everybody who has a drink, uh, let's give a quick toast to our to our birthdays. Yeah, Happy, Gurk Happy, Gurk Happy Gurk Day. Happy Gurk Day. There you go. I don't have a drink. Happy birthday, Gurk. Thank you. Happy birthday, Jesse. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Jeff and Kim, you guys are here. Yeah, no one else really knows oh. why the fuck you're here except for. <laughs> and we very much appreciate that. That nobody here. knew we were coming. We appreciate that as guests. I, I wanted to give the element <laughs> of surprise. Uh, Jeff and Kim, I introduced you guys to the Dark Side podcast. That you did. Jeff uh, actually came in today and asked if he could use Floppity Doo. He's only a year behind what? on the codes. Okay. Come on. I'd like to point out that Jeff has not listened to all of the episodes. He's catching up. Are you saying I that have. Jeff has only listened to the first one? Because I'm pretty sure that was like the first one. <laughs> yeah. And I gave him floppity doo. He hasn't even gotten oh, all no, no, no. the first one yet. <laughs> Neither here nor there. So what you're saying is he's living in your shadow. You're the Kim to his Kanye. <laughs> Whoa. I'd rather not be involved in that. <laughs> She's the Kim to his Jeff is really what it is. We were uh, hanging out last night. God, that is horrible. That All is right. a pretty common reaction no. when people drink PBRs. So that makes sense. I thought hanging out with you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, we were hanging out. Oh, God, that was... Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Not the first time I've gotten that. So we were hanging out last night at the Derby, and um, I brought you here because you made a very serious... You threw a very serious accusation my way. I wouldn't call it an accusation at uh, all. Yeah, that's, that's the word. I'm sticking by it. I said I ne- had something that I needed to discuss with you, that I was a little bothered by... Some terms that were used in episode 13. Berto, what did you say? <laughs> I was going to say, She's what did you She's completely fine with the racist comment. <laughs> to be fair, I want to point out that she instructed me that I had to sit down for a conversation about it. It, w- it was like a motherly talking to that we were going to have. It was, Is this it like was when serious. a teacher corners you about plagiarism or something? Exactly. Like, this how many, it was serious. How many PBRs had she had? Zero. <laughs> but five chocolate apple teenies. <laughs> I, I had none of those last night, Boots actually. with the fur. <laughs> Sex on the beaches. So anyway, so we... Uh, so, <laughs> Nobody else here knows why you guys are here. Okay. So I listened to episode 13. I'm catching up. I got to 13. And She's doing much better than Jeff. So beyond <laughs> floppity do. Okay. <laughs> I've passed floppity do. I've passed Comanche. I'm, I'm, I'm way, way beyond that. <laughs> so did Berto. So, hey, he's still there. <laughs> he's still there. Um, there came a point where there was a discussion about the toddler fight club, which I was, I was quite interested in. <laughs> <laughs> and as I listened... Some references that you made became a little bit concerning. Um, toddler Fight Club became Baby Fight Club. Mm. And then suddenly five-year-olds were toddlers. Thank you. I made this point. And you, <laughs> I made this point. You were by far He's the, the only most one right qualified on to make this group. point. That's true. 
You you were because there is no way in hell you could call a five year old a toddler. Nope. It is just it's just not it's not okay. Just an asshole at that point. <laughs> <laughs> so five year olds are they're they're walkers. One year olds are walkers. <laughs> so they're gonna bite you. So what? So there there's just right. two there's two yeah, stages of human development. No, no, there's no, no, no. toddle and walk. Five year olds are either preschoolers or school age or early school age children, but they are nowhere yeah, near they're, toddlers. They're just children at yeah, that they're, point. They're children. They're, they're walkers. Yeah. So you're saying I'm correct. <laughs> You were actually comparing one-year-olds and five-year-olds. Yeah. They're they're not even close. They're just not even close. Developmentally, chronologically, not even close. In a fight club, they might be close. I was going to say, in a fight (laughs) club, in the context of a fight club. No, fight club. Yeah. Yeah, five-year-old would tear apart a one-year-old. And there was a reference to to pushing a child's fontanelle in. It was... (laughs) Oh, my God. What? (laughs) Oh, the soft spot. Nobody used that that word, but... That was me. No, you may not have used that word. You may not have used that word, but five-year-olds, no way. No, you got to use, like, the the Vulcan nerve pinch on the baby. (laughs) Shut it down in the fight club. (laughs) I'm just saying. These are babies fighting babies, not human... Adults fighting babies. Yeah, it started out of babies now. fighting because babies. Because you said I'm gonna punch a baby. I think. <laughs> yeah, so. no, and then it started. It turned into if JB could beat children. In a fight club. Can we rephrase that, please? <laughs> That's not. No, nope. we're. Can JB beat no off edit. children in a fight club? <laughs> <laughs> then we. Uh, the discussion became how many five year olds do you think you could take? Right. Mm. Uh, and then so we were talking about that. Uh, taking out one year olds is very different than taking out five year olds. Absolutely. You think you could get your ass kicked by a five year old? I think a five-year-old could kick my ass. Okay, how many five-year-olds do you think you could take in a fight? It depends on the five-year-old, but I wouldn't go higher than two. Two? <laughs> really? You, you, clearly, oh we don't God. know the same five-year-old. I uh, I don't think I know any five-year-old. I assume that they were of the size of one-year-olds, clearly. <laughs> they, they are actually <laughs> significantly faster. Yeah, they, they move pretty quick. Smarter, more aggressive. They more manipulative. More they vicious. go for soft spots. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, yeah. they, they go for, like, kids, once they get to a certain age, they will, just to be blunt, they target your balls. A hundred percent. That's all they can reach. That's head level for them. Exactly. Just gonna, but a uh, one-year-old is crawling on the ground. You no, can no, literally step on a one-year-old. One your balls too. You could smother a one-year-old by just sitting on it. One-year-old so, reaches up for your balls because they want to go up. Uh, they're not even doing it purposefully. They're, so just, they're, trying grabbing. they're yeah. just trying to cruise. They just want up because they're crying because they fucking dropped their milk. Listen, this is a personal you know issue. Yeah, so, I'm getting yeah. too angry. He's, just, he's getting pissed. You're getting a little heated about that. <laughs> so a one-year-old would be... I have one-year-olds. We're flashing back an hour ago into his back. <laughs> <laughs> so a one-year-old hmm. would headbutt the balls, whereas a five-year-old would punch the balls. Yes. With some force. Absolutely. Yeah, they'll go, they'll, they'll, yeah. they will go for it. Five-year-old has malicious intent. Yep, I'm Cue just pointing out law and order noise. In uh, <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> in this fictional scenario that I'm like, they're not. You know, this isn't like a rational situation. This is feral five year olds. I think they what it just, comes down they're to they're just out feral. for isn't blood. It feral. They are <laughs> feral. Yeah, what the feral. fuck is feral? That it's was the same as not last same night. Not a thing. Feral, feral and afraid. Feral babies with rabbis or rabbis, <laughs> rabbis? and babies. <laughs> How many rabbis? It always comes rabbis. back to the Jews. How many rabbis it, are the babies take, circumcised? Sorry. How many rabbi babies can you fight? <laughs> rabies. JB, I Correct think what it comes down rabies. to is that a one-year-old you can take out by like you, know, you push them over, they're going to get fed up and cry. A five-year-old you got to start take you got to start breaking bones and treating them like adults. You got to start like incapacitating them. I, I so, so don't how think many... I can say that I can support breaking the bones of the five-year-old. No, in her defense, she's here defending five-year-olds. I am a, a five-year-old and a one-year-old. Uh, I think I could still take like ten five-year-olds. Oh. I don't think so. You don't I doubt that? No, half. no, I, I doubt that. <clears throat> I'm with you, JB. I, I am spry. Okay. If they stack. You're. You, if they, what is this full You want it? I'm quick. Listen, JB is talking about being spry. This is the like... same man who two weeks ago suggested we get comfort mats for standing behind the register. <laughs> I have sensitive feet. He's You're also about right. your back. How are you going to take on one, five-year-olds? One of two back brothers on staff. Hey. <laughs> look, look. If I'm attacking five-year-olds, I don't have to lift them. They don't weigh a lot. You know, no. false. Like I can tell a five-year-old five to, pick to one weigh up ninety pounds. Yeah, they're like throw them 50, into the other five-year-old. You need to go bowling. See, that's that's <laughs> that would my strategy would be take the first one and just push them backwards so it knocks like three or four over. So they're on the ground. The others are jumping over them to get to you. Yeah. You take out them first because they're trampling the other guys for you. They're you like see? raptors, man. That's what I'm saying. But There's I'm one strategy. Ti- Diabeto is going to be in out. front, and then you're fucking done do from ten. the side. Kim, can we agree I'm that JB fired fired would be totally fucked up by five-year-olds? They got to be unarmed. No unfair advantages. Oh, and the whole weapons discussion. At one point, you had them with weapons. <laughs> really? I don't remember that. Yeah. Did they have really weapons? What, really? I uh, didn't what? listen to the last podcast. <laughs> you, should, you might want to listen to it. it. I could certainly take 10 one-year-olds. Sure. No problem. <laughs> well, 
Yeah, I mean, I think they'd break you down mentally before you ever got that far. <laughs> that might be. You don't know. Let me yeah. tell you, two two of them crying in stereo. That's enough to torture you. Yeah. JB wants ten. I could. Do you hear that, Jenny? I could. <laughs> JB wants ten. He, he just became Mormon. They've left. No, they have lots of wives. Oh, that's one particular that's sect, sect of Mormonism. Actually, mm-hmm. they just got in some trouble. I I read that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. You know, there is like a sect for like people that have a lot of kids, though. They think that like the way to purify the world is to literally just outnumber everyone else. So the people from nineteen kids, not a bad game They're plan. like part of this like crazy like. That's why they have so many kids. Because so that's how they think they're gonna like cleanse the earth. So those are the kids we need Isn't to beat up. Scary? Mm-hmm. That's scary. <laughs> See, that's you need to take okay. out as many as you can mm-hmm. in one feral swoop. <laughs> it just sounds like Catholicism. Wait, is that like no birth control? <laughs> well, see, everybody bangs, like just have it's babies. It also sounds like it's the not 60s. Catholicism. <laughs> the sixties. Yeah. This beer absolutely <laughs> sucks. <laughs> it's PBR. It tastes, it tastes horrible. Yeah. It's really bad. It has no taste. That's 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 key why it to PBR. You trade? No. Okay. JJ had a stomach bug like a week ago so you. you're pretty much in like ground zero for some kind of virus in here <laughs> i've got so two one year olds unemployed with a stomach virus i had a stomach bug like two days ago so yeah, he's more See? he's, more he's the carrier now it's true it's just moving around Cheers. becca's next no, no she already it. got oh, it shit she oh probably God. started it all stay the fuck me. home jesus i don't want to be sick again no, you're good. okay you're past the incubation period okay so Kim, uh, Kim and Kim and Jeff, Kim and Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> I keep wanting to say Kim and Scott, but that's a totally that's, different, that's different customers. Scott. Yeah. Uh, so you guys listen to our podcast. This is like the most honest feedback. First of all, this is our first ever feedback we're gonna get. Second of all, now that you're on the spot, we're waiting. How's the podcast? I didn't really plan this one out. <laughs> now that we've lost you your job. <laughs> uh, well, I've listened to thirteen episodes. That's that's so more than that, us. That has even. to say something. Clearly, Justin hasn't even listened to all of them. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I probably listened to maybe ten ish. I've enjoyed what I've listened to, and I started to listen to the Dark Side or Dork Side, but I still have not seen Star Wars yet. I'm so. just going to tell you, shut it right spoiler off. Spoiler alert: I make a great Harrison Ford reference in that one. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It is. It's entertaining. It is entertaining. I will give you that. And I am not a music person. I might never be allowed back in here again for saying that and admitting that here. That's okay. You bought a sound um, of a smirk CD, so you're good. I did. I did. We just met Tim. Loaded. <laughs> <laughs> we don't pay out to the end of the month. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but it's interesting and it's witty and it's fun to listen to. I'm not sure we've ever been referred to as witty. Yeah, I think you it's are. True. Yeah. It's, hey, thanks. We need a quote wall. Like, witty. 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 Yeah. <laughs> No explanation. Thanks for the Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. You are welcome. We're gonna put we're gonna put you in the know right <laughs> thank you, thank you now. Plenty that. more where that. Comes. You know, like <laughs> you, 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 you just to... say PBR, okay. Professional Bull Riding Pabst Blue Ribbon. Mm-hmm. You're all good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> JB, I think we need to make like a magazine ad with a little you know of reviews of the podcast. We need to say witty. And then these fuckers <laughs> lost me my job. <laughs> <laughs> you really need to edit. He's actually pretty good for all the shit I say that you've never heard. He's he's quite good. That's good to know. Uh, I actually, when we when we do these edits, I actually get uh, less generous with what I let through. Like we always talk about things. We say, you know, we're going to cut this out. We're going to cut that out. And then usually I even cut out more than that, just because I listen and I'm like, oh my <laughs> god, what the <laughs> fuck are we doing right now? This is 18 minutes talking to broccoli. Fuck. <laughs> I had a friend once. <laughs> that kind of sad. That's the end of the story, <laughs> yeah. right there. I had a friend once. <laughs> That was beautiful. Her uh, her eventual nickname became Van Nasty, <laughs> and her and her broccoli stand. That's all I'll put it out. No backstory. That's no, it. That's it. Okay. That's all you need. Van Nasty's broccoli stand. Good story. If he said that again, I could do something like. <laughs> like, I had a friend once. You just got hired on the podcast. Hey, yes. You got one job. It, the, uh, it pays in PBR. Yeah. It was a couple weeks ago. We stopped in here with the girls. And Harper was walking around back behind the counter. These are his one-year-olds he's referring to. I, I know about he them because I take... listened to the fucking podcast. Oh. <laughs> well, I just learned about them. And um, <laughs> we brought them here one day. And they were walking around behind the counter. And uh, our, the mixer behind the counter has these awful side effects. And they're just these little gray buttons. And all of a sudden, Harper just starts shooting the laser beam. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and it plays all over the sound system. It was like over David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> singing from his deathbed and pew pew. We have some secrets that we built into the new store. Sound effects being one of them. 
we have an, at least three intercoms that we use, mm-hmm. depending on what requests we need to make or who we need to secretly talk about, judgingly, <laughs> privately to each or other. Or how cool we want to feel. I just like asking for price checks. We haven't used that since, like, day two. I know. I know. It's intimidating to use it's, that thing. You put your, your mouth right up to the mic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? That's it. Okay. Girk, what do you got to say? I do enjoy the walkie-talkie features, though, on the phones. I love uh, walkie talkie to the front. Would you say it's one of your hobbies? It is. It's like I check records for like a quarter of the day and walkie talkie for the other. Where do you rank it in terms of your um, your uh, metal detecting hobby? Uh, it's way beyond that. I just walkie talking is just taking over. You've my given life. up metal detecting? Yeah, yeah. It's all about walkie talking. Did the did the old man at the beach force you out? Yes. <laughs> Remember what I said about 18 minutes about broccoli before? Like, we're fucking talking about walkie talkies. You know what? You find one brooch and they fucking take you out. 15 minutes about Girk's hobbies. <laughs> it is his birthday. It's true. But we already gave him no deodorant and <laughs> his own intro, so... And I brought him a cupcake. Thank you. Now he's just milking it. Is there is there milk? I was just thinking about <laughs> that too. Is it birthday milk or... What um? You gotta wait till what's the your percentage? Get here. I was gonna milk. say, you gotta wait till the Asians get here. What kind of milk do I what, yeah, what's your hooker's percentage of milk? Asian. Whole milk. Your whole milk. Hookers. I'm whole milk too. Yeah. See you, ever, you ever go raw milk? Uh, no, but oh, it's delicious. You like take a little. It, it's like, not like you don't put the teat in your mouth or it's anything. Like a milkshake. No, it's, it's like, um, you're like feeding the kids, and then you just kind of like. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about breast milk. <laughs> No, whole whole cow's milk. (laughs) If you want breast milk, though, I can got you. If you want, if you want a breast milk smoothie or something, I can take care of that. You gotta connect. Mm -hmm. I got a freezer actually. (laughs) Milk man over here. No, I'm I'm talking about raw milk. Nah, I've never never done the raw. I'll have to bring some in. Like unpasteurized? Yeah, completely unpasteurized. Oh, that's disgusting. Is that illegal in New York State? No, I've had it before. It's completely illegal and it's fucking delicious. I like it. It it's very creamy. It's it's so good. I'm a milkman. Where the fuck is your sad trombone now, man? What's oh, the deal? Wait, Come on. Wait, wait, wait. You got to be on give, point with that just, thing. Wait, that was it. Uh, so any, no, fired, lo- no, you're fired. No. That's it. Off. You're done. Both you're done. Both fired. Jesse, God Kim, Jeff's next. <laughs> He's going to be fired. Great. No, they're good. I'm not sure they're I was good. ever even hired. <laughs> yeah. They brought cupcakes. They're not getting fired. So there's this bullshit. place out in Millbrook called Shunpike Farm yes. where you can get whole milk or raw milk. Excuse me. It's absolutely delicious. Highly recommend it. I'm going to keep an eye out for that. Jesse, go home. <laughs> I'm, I might after that comment. No, you know what we should oh, do? Oh, God. <laughs> you should. <laughs> all, you, I have, all I have now is say something great. You guys great. should get some raw <laughs> something. Great. You guys should get some raw milk and next podcast. We'll have a taste test. We pin JB down with five-year-olds and force it on him. <laughs> yes. And we and teach pour them, milk all over drink them. it, fucking vegan. I completely <laughs> support that. You're not the first. <laughs> We'll get him one day. We'll get him. I get I get got all the time. Man. Yeah, you, it's true. Vegan, he yeah he vegan has, edge. Yeah, he falls off the wagon. Like I I get coffee and, and I take a sip and I'm like oh okay well that's fucked. Yesterday <laughs> I uh, went to Taco Bell and he wanted a bean burrito mm-hmm. and so I ordered it and uh, I said can I get a bean burrito but with no cheese because when you order food for JB there's qualifiers mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, so the girl <laughs> pauses and she goes you want a bean burrito with no beans. <laughs> and I said, no, no cheese. Beans are good. That's it. <laughs> Wouldn't that basically be like a cheese quesadilla? Uh, no, at that point, it's just like a tortilla. It's, yeah, it's an uncooked tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> With cheese in it. Yeah. And that's it. Cold cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a vavuvula? A, a vuvuzela? Yep. I have no, it's a rap air horn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would know. Oh, I, think it's, well, I, think it's, sound I think it's just an air horn. <laughs> Anyone can rap. JB, go for it. A vegan rap. A vegan rap. Delicious. I'd rather have a chicken wrap, but whatever. That's mm-hmm. fine. Yeah. I don't. I don't judge your your dietary choices. Yeah, no, and I don't judge you. Have you? Uh, have Except you tried right the new? Um, no, no, I would rather. Have you tried the new Ben and Jerry's non dairy ice cream? I haven't yet. I mean, uh, it's it, out now. In the what in the even? Ben and Jerry's retail stores, you mean? Uh, I thought like, it was in Pints now. I yeah, I saw Pints. Oh, I heard there was something about they're gonna do like Ben and Jerry's, like in uh, like in airports where they have retail stands where they serve ice cream, and those now are gonna be the ones. That, I think they've had vegan ice cream before. Oh wow! Now no, you just like are able to get time. it like 
everywhere. Yeah, it's, you can mm. get uh, pints of like ch- vegan Chunky Monkey and Ooh. Cherry Garcia. I think oh, I'm fucking. I'm so down. Holy shit! And they say it's. They say it's good. Uh, I don't I know, know about that. I, I just know it exists. I mean, Ben and Jerry's is great. I don't Nine think out of ten matters. vegans who have never tasted the real thing <laughs> love it. It's great. <laughs> It's like all those abstinent Catholic kids. They're like, oh, I love sex. <laughs> no, they love not having sex. I love not having sex. <laughs> Have you tried it? Y- no. <laughs> <laughs> Vegan ice cream. You're five minutes late. Probably almond. Just, no, it's probably I'm like just, almond milk or something. Kinda, they make sounds, dog ice cream, too. terrible. Same thing. It doesn't fucking matter what so matters. Dogs, <laughs> the dogs and the vegans are... Well, it's it's the like, same thing though. It's non dairy. You probably get the dog ice cream a lot cheaper. And it's yeah, the it's... Same. Uh, what's, yeah. What do they call them? Uh, pup... Puppuccinos? Uh, oh, Puppet- oh, no, that's just Starbucks. Uh, that's just whipped cream. We used to give these to my dog. I've seen that. Frosty yeah. Paws? Yes. Maybe. Hey. Frosty, Frosty Paws. Thank you. And it's just dog, pick up some Frosty Paws. Okay. Don't like going to eat them, but okay. I will. <laughs> Do you have a dog that you can give it to? Wait, we've gone we've gone from me not eating meat to I should be eating dog food. It's not dog like food. It's dog dessert. It's vegan ice cream. <laughs> we dogs. Should've, you should have had a dog on the podcast. Dogs. It's just the packaging, we, bro. We've had we have realistically had a dog on the it probably tastes the same really? as what you a might get A couple weeks anyway. ago, Roberto had the realization that he was eating the same thing my children do and I when he saw them eating applesauce in a pouch. Oh yeah, no that's just good. Go go squeeze. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. no that's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Good for a quick snack. <laughs> Whenever I walk past a baby, I just quick that sauce. <laughs> All babies are equipped with go-go squeeze. Give me that go-go squeeze. I know, it's a reliable source of food. Go-go, get your own. Mm-hmm. It's like taking food from a baby. Yeah, but that's that's what your life has come to at this point. <laughs> well, this brings us back to baby fight club. Yeah, right. Taking babies baby. and taking their fucking applesauce. But not a five-year-old. Not that a five-year-old. Five have a, applesauce? That's just a child. Five-year-olds have moved on to Gogurt. They're fucking lost causes. It's full of sugar. You're it's absolutely true. right. It's true. There's little assholes. It's like little rascals, but they're modern day. <laughs> <laughs> little assholes. We should probably say that most five year olds are not assholes. Disagree. I'm also gonna disagree on that. Yeah. I'm gonna say most I don't know, don't know any assholes? five year olds. Most five year olds are not yeah. assholes. About four years from now. I would just I would say that most children are assholes in the minority. There's a couple good ones. When when do kids stop wearing <laughs> diapers? Oh, not soon enough. Uh, God, I should have been here a long time. I have like, I have like a three-year-old niece who's, who's potty trained now. It's somewhere between three? like yeah, 18 like months and 24 months. Somewhere around at there. At what point do you stop using months? As Fucking at one year. I just threw that out there now because it's a good qualifier. But I don't say, like, so my daughters are uh, almost, f- they're 15 months now. Mm-hmm. But I just say they're one. You can keep using 15 months until they're 18 months. No, I'm, I'm, no I, I don't I believe in the month system like after bullshit. one. Bullshit. After one year, you're... <laughs> Measured in I'll years. give them year and a half. So you are advocating the rounding system. No, because like you want to round I, up. I I round, but it depends. As a dad, first of all, you can make any choice you want. Yes, but thank as you. a dad, America, you. <laughs> I'm pro-choice. Make America great again. From a developmental perspective, you want to use months until 18 months because there's so much change happening That's after true. 18 months. You round assholes. I don't. I mean, I don't disagree with you, but I'm still going to say this one. My two year old. You can asshole. say one. I've taken a hard line, and it's I'm anti months. I always figured. Once you got to I, one. Once I just I got figured to that one, yeah. the months thing was a woman thing because I like to envision their baby oh, it's as like totally just like a, um, adorable little thing so longer. The so it's months. The unnamed is a part of many unnamed mom Facebook boards, <laughs> and often reads me the posts because it's like a pastime of how I've fucking heard some crazy of those. people are. Oh yeah. But like I've totally seen posts where like or, and I've seen heard posts where they're like my forty eight month old. Oh, that's not that's not okay. <laughs> it's no, some no, fucking that's bullshit. Fucking wrong. So you you stop at eighteen. Eighteen. That's where you round. After that, you round. So Unless nineteen and up is is round. Just like a good yeah. porn star. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely getting fired. <laughs> Listen, I said porn star, not you. There's nothing illegal about porn as long as they're over 18. I want to point out that our producer is so bored that she's skimming Facebook right no, 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 now no, looking no. for things. So the first thing that came up is... This is how our last producer got fired. Here, and we tried it. But what do they say? <laughs> just, just, eat, just eat dog ice cream. <laughs> it's way Jerry's. cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> you get six for four dollars. So like, quit being a pussy and don't be a vegan. <laughs> just eat actual ice cream. Six out of ten. Eat dog Solid food. Alternative. <laughs> eat dog food. Oh, that's just for one flavor. But Berto What's, made um, a good point. They've never had real ice cream, so it probably could get a nine out of ten. Well, we're Whoa. assuming they've never had ice cream. That doesn't, how many vegans are honestly born vegan? Uh, a very small yeah. The same so, I mean, ones whose parents say they're 48 month olds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is my 96 year old, uh, six, 96 month year old child. What was that uh, South Park episode where Cartman's mom wanted to get an abortion in the 42nd trimester? Oh, God. <laughs> 
<laughs> the ultra late term abortion. I've been advocating that for years. <laughs> when I make my bid for president, it's going to be up there. You're going to make a. You can get a legal abortion again. up to 18 years, <laughs> not months. Not years, months. not Big months. Yeah. yeah. Porn after years, not months. Correct. Right. Unless you're in Thailand. Is that an edit? I don't really know what to know. do with that one. That's should a I, fact, not I an edit. Cut that one out. <laughs> that's a that's a judgment call on there. People who are in trouble about getting fired, should I cut that part out? You do whatever the hell you want. Okay. Oh. <laughs> When's the last time you've had real ice cream? The last time I had real ice cream, mm-hmm. we're gonna have a vegan discussion right now. Uh, last I'm time just I, curious. Last time know. I had real ice cream. Because there was a there was a point like, made that you should remember what real ice cream tastes like, but I don't know if you became a vegan two years ago or twenty years ago. Well, I've probably had real ice cream unintentionally sometime, but the last time I intentionally had real ice cream was 12 years ago. Wow. That's how long you've been a vegan? Or I'm that's really how long sorry. you're counting down the time since you had ice cream? No, since I was vegan. Okay. 2004 <laughs> is when I went vegan. Oh, That was my last year of high school. I was nine. Our, <laughs> <laughs> our executive producer was nine. I don't know. I never really, uh, I never, uh, I was never like a dessert person, though. I was always like a savory person. Then why did you eat a cupcake? Because they're fucking delicious. And you know how often vegan cupcakes come around? Not that fucking often. No, with you, pretty goddamn often. You take yeah, advantage of almost all, all the time. You know how many cupcakes you throw away? Edit. I, <laughs> no, no edit. She knows. It's okay. You know how many fucking cupcakes she throws away? That's why I bring them in here, because she's like, I'm going to fucking throw them away. Oh, that's, so wait, will that's you bring us know. garbage cupcakes? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Look, I only out. fish some of them out of the garbage for you, okay? <laughs> They're still in the plastic package. <laughs> <laughs> most most of them. That's why they look smushy. If you get one with like a crayon in it, then you know. You I know. ate an egg big muffin out of the trash the other day. In in the wrapping or out of the wrapping? Still in the bag, even. I had um I had gone to McDonald's for Were breakfast. Were you having... Breakfast no, I was with Aaron. <laughs> we got back to the house, and I'd eaten one sandwich, and there was the guy from the heating company was there. I stopped in the driveway to talk to him, and I handed her my bag and said, can you take this for me? And so she went inside, and maybe an hour later, I went to actually eat my sandwich, and I like looking all over the house for it, cannot find it, and then it occurs to me, she thought it was garbage. So I opened <laughs> the garbage, and there it was. The bag. It was right on top of the garbage. Nothing else on it. That's fine. I, man. I took it out and took it. It's good to I know. ate it. That's Is that the same yeah. garbage you store diapers in? There was definitely diapers in the garbage. <laughs> oh. I'm not not gonna. But there was you know. no diaper to sandwich touching. There was. It was in the wax wrapper in the paper bag. Yeah, that's good to go. There might have even been a napkin. Was yeah. it airtight? You're not even gonna get poop particles on that. <laughs> well, good. you know, it's like um, it's like storing vegetables or bananas. You can do it in a brown paper bag. It's fine. Mm-hmm. That's how you can make. You uh, ripen them that way. Uh, microwave popcorn in a pinch. Just throw some fucking popcorn in a brown paper bag, staple it, and throw it in the microwave. No staples. Staple it? What are you going to do? You, do? Staple you staple fucking it house throw it in a microwave. And, and you wrap it in tinfoil. And then you put it, <laughs> what's the problem? You, you guys doesn't explode when it Somebody's does Somebody's got a convection this, microwave. This explains <laughs> why we go through microwaves so quickly around here. <laughs> One time, years that ago, explains the hurting. JB <laughs> told Aaron and I that his parents had a wooden fridge, mm-hmm. and we genuinely did not understand Really didn't understand, and Aaron had concerns that uh, <laughs> there was some sort of like trashy, rundown house with a wooden fridge, that, which isn't even possible. And then we actually went to go help him move, and it was like an incredibly nice house. And what he meant to say was they had like a faux wood paneling to match the cabinets. <laughs> Completely, it was like, oh. I'm just learning for the first time that he thought I lived in some sort of not like, me trailer. <laughs> not me. Yeah. Like, Abandoned. Air, so I, we were driving down there, and Aaron's like, "I don't know where we're gonna walk into." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a wooden fridge. I see. I, my mind went to like old school icebox. See, That's much cooler. Yeah. But even those weren't wood. Mm, tr- yeah. True. Okay. Yeah. But they had like the wooden the top. Wooden top. What about like an ice house? Say, if you lived in like Canada. Uh, house. Ice house. In the like a Molson <laughs> ice. <laughs> You ever had Molson ice? I've had uh, Molson Canadian. I, I basically think that Molson uh, Canadian is like the PBR of Canada. Oh, it's so much worse than it's, PBR. It's like the same. The yeah, same it's Canadian. Thing. It's like a Canadian pissing in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's a lot more polite then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't feel like Ooh. it. Is. <laughs> and there's no threat of gun violence. <laughs> they have a lot of knifings though. But they do have uh, universal health care. So. And Mounties. And Mounties, mm. fucking Mounties, and I they can't be Mountie. on Jeopardy anymore. Take that, Trebek. Who Trebek. is Canadian? Drama, <laughs> international drama. 
Yeah, something about uh, some law that Canada passed suddenly made them not eligible to enter contests from outside the country, and so now they're no longer able to sign up for Jeopardy. So this will be the last year that has contestants from Canada on Jeopardy until they correct the law. Interesting. That'll thin the pool out for me. Useless (laughs) now. That's basically what our podcast is. Yeah. So the topic for this week's podcast (laughs) is rarities. No, 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 that's never the topic. Mm-mm. Just a discussion about albums, pieces in our collections, things that we own, things that we've heard of that are just cool, unique, whether they're records or CDs, albums, just something we've always wanted to own. And the most important part of this, what's the one album you would never get rid of? Like if you had to sell your whole collection, but one record, what would that one record be? I'll jump right in right there. Go. None. I'm not giving up any of my records. You, <laughs> you pro- have to. No. There's fucking five year olds with knives. <laughs> no. They're gonna They're, they're gonna not f- coming after me because I understand be- the severity of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> that just means you'll last a few minutes longer. Mm-hmm. They're fucking no. vicious. Duck and cover. Trap door. That's what I just learned from Sasha Baron Cohen. On the what WTF yeah, podcast? Yeah. I yeah, listen yeah. to that too. That's how we got out of the end of uh, Bruno. Really? Yeah, it was, it was a whole thing. We're not going to get into it here. Okay. You can listen to that podcast for that information. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. I, I've got something. Oh, wait, we'll say goodbye first. Bye. Bye, Bye Kimski. Thanks for coming. Sorry about your Thanks job. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I was going to say, I think the unemployment office opens at 9. Fuck all you guys. <laughs> uh, so uh, a piece that I'm uh, proud of that I own, I'm obviously a uh, avid Melvins collector, and uh, I have this one fucking record of the Melvins. It's a 12-inch single that they hand-screened their own covers, and what they did is they posted on social media and they said, hey, we're going to be in New York on this day at this time for two hours or something like that. We're going to be selling this record. And if you show up and you buy this record for 20 bucks, it counts as your ticket to come to a secret show that we're going to do at the Lit Lounge in Manhattan. That's this awesome. sounds familiar from uh, the one Dark Side podcast I've listened to. You talked yeah. about well, this piece, yeah. <laughs> then fuck it. Good story. Again. <laughs> Girk? Well, my favorite rarity piece that I own <clears throat> is from this band, Foxy Shazam. Uh, we were just listening to it today, actually, at work. Uh, it's out of 300. Uh, it's a orange and translucent red split. Uh, I got into them around 2008, and they're my favorite band, aside from Streetlight Manifesto. Uh, I've been looking for that album for like five years. I probably spent three times what it was worth, but it was well worth it. And that kind of goes hand in hand with something I'll never give away. Probably because I wouldn't be able to sell it to anyone. I don't know any other Foxy <laughs> Shazam. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so they're uh, from Pittsburgh, right? They are from Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Pittsburgh, Ohio. They're not active anymore, but they were part of my favorite show that I ever went to. Also, so it's just like they're just great. I don't know. The lead singer used to eat cigarettes on stage. <laughs> uh, they were the wildest band I've ever seen live, but also at the same time the tightest. Mm-hmm. Like, we're talking about guys. Like, the singer would put uh, a cymbal on his head, and it would still sound okay. <laughs> like, the drummer would play it. And it was just, uh, I love Foxy's Sam. I don't know. I knew someone who uh, may or may not have drank Jimmy Urine's piss ah. from Mindless <laughs> Self-Indulgence. <laughs> yeah, MSI yeah. was nuts. Did he ever piss in your mouth? No, I never saw them. I wish I did. Apparently he would piss in your mouth for money. Like you paid him and he would piss in your mouth. Oh, okay. That's worth... We should get him on the podcast. We should see if if these are true facts or if someone was just fucking blowing piss up my ass. See if he'll he'll piss in your mouth on the podcast. I'm just saying. I I will pay him the money to piss in his mouth. (laughs) No, that's fine. I'm saying. Is that vegan? (laughs) <laughs> no, no, no. No, See, it's he, not. He's been eating dairy. It is vegan. It is. They Coming can eat, from a, Okay, wait, wait. Tell me really quick. Body? Really quick. Back Human up. things. Pee is not dairy, okay? <laughs> so, But it's an animal product, <laughs> no? It's all about consent. Oh, I mean, as long as I consent to him pissing in my mouth, <laughs> it's fucking gravy. I think it's so more wait, about a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it gravying in your mouth you. or pissing in your mouth? If Poor you could get a cow to consent to being butchered. I can't even with that. If you could get a cow to consent to be butchered, it would raise a whole new discussion and a level of very confusing cow self-awareness. Yeah, there'd be <laughs> blogs and HuffPost articles about that immediately. Uh, there would, because you would have a fucking cow that <laughs> is self-aware and can communicate such feelings back to humans. That wouldn't be a pretty newsworthy story, I would say. And then his, re- his all he would say was like, yeah, no, fucking eat me. <laughs> get me really fat. 
kill me and eat me. Well, I mean, maybe it's not that bad of a deal. It's like you get to live your life in complete comfort, stuffing your face with as much food as you want, as long as you acknowledge that at a certain point, they're just going to sneak up behind you in the middle of the night and put a bullet in your head. You'll never see it coming. It's not a bad thing. I mean, it's like, it's not a good thing. I might agree to such a thing. (laughs) Yeah. If we move to like some sort of Soylent Green Soylent cannibalism green. thing. Speaking of Soylent Green, mm-hmm. is Soylent vegan? It must be, right? Because it's only it's only <clears throat> nutri- like powdered nutrients. I assume. Yeah. yeah, I think it was just poorly named. We I should people uh, who are trying to work soy into a name, but no, it's not soy. It's, they're taking it from Soylent Green. I thought it was they. Well, I assumed that they were trying to take it from Soylent Green, but they were also trying to make a non-meat product. It's, I think and it was just sort of like a weird it's non-anything. combination. It's not. It's just water and powdered minerals and vitamins and human <gasps> i think we should get some soil and just drink it on the podcast Soylent, if you're willing to drop off a case of Soylent, we'll gladly talk about it again. Soylent and ra- and raw milk. And, and next Jimmy week. urine's urine. It's going to be a blind <laughs> test. And are, you, are you drinking piss? And, <laughs> and Frosty Paws, I believe, right? We're doing dog ice cream? It's going to be the weirdest We're just going to put in a blender. Vitamix, can you send us a blender? <laughs> <laughs> can we just turn off mics five and six? Just should you, should turn I, them off right should now? Should I just kill them? Okay. <laughs> Jesse, tell us, uh, tell us something that you, that you got that you are proud of, that you like. Uh, something that I probably spent a lot of money on, and something that I'm very proud of. My favorite band would probably be Brand News, The Devil and God Are Raging Inside Me, before it was repressed. Mm. Um, a super sad story that has to go with that is that mm. I bought the red variant, and it was sent to my house, and I never got it. Something happened, and it sucked. <laughs> but the guy who sold me it one? was like, hey, if you send me like 25 bucks, I'll, I'll sell it for like face value, and I'll send you another one. And he sent me a white version of it. Is that more or less rare than the original? It's, it's less rare, but I have a first pressing of The Devil and God. I don't care. I mean, it sucked because I spent a lot of fucking money, and I'm not going to go into how much, but... Hey, guy, uh, so that record I never sent, if you give me more money, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really promise I'll send one this time. No, it, it was tracked and everything. Did the, it come the, from the, Angola? Yeah, it was uh, I got this Mongolia. Nigerian uncle. <laughs> no, it, it really did come to my house, I heard, but someone... Yeah, they either stole Shit. it or they just... Fu- I don't know what they did. It fucking sucked. That does probably suck. like behind your garage somewhere. <laughs> I don't even have... I, <laughs> the mean, mailman probably I live left above it a somewhere pizza place. random. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone knows where I live. <laughs> that was probably a bad idea, but... Now you're going to have a bunch of people outside your house searching for like this... You were like, where's the fuck? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The fuck is this? No, this is like two and a half, three years ago. So I was looking for a warped... <laughs> so it's been <laughs> yeah. rained on. Yeah. Super warped. Yeah, uh, no, but regardless, Devil and God... Raging Inside Me. Great record. A lot of money. When they did the repress of Deja Entendu, that is yes. a record that so many people constantly ask me about. So We just got one. Funny thing about that, I owned that from the original pressing also. Ooh. And I sold it for a lot of money. And then I got the repress for 25 bucks. Would you say that's winning out? That would be a major win. I mean, I love Deja, I love Deja Entendu, don't get me wrong, but I, I wasn't... It was a lot of money. <laughs> and it was like... I never opened it. I just bought it back in back in the day from a Hot Topic. Oh, so it was the Hot Topic variant. There was your variant. first mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bought it from a Hot Topic for like 25, 30 bucks, and I was like, okay, well, shit. I'll just, oh, God, dramatically get profit on this. <laughs> it was awesome. Cool. This was fun. Um, you're going to be our first musical guest on the podcast. It's weird. It's a milestone. I feel embarrassed for you. <laughs> That's appropriate. Yeah, not for yourself. Not like, for, uh, no, I'm fine. I'm embarrassed. I'm, I would be embarrassed that you have me on here. Um... So we're gonna have you here. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do something new. We're gonna have you play a couple songs, a little stripped down acoustic sesh. I'll be I happy gotta call to do bullshit something. on your statement. Oh wait, uh, factually incorrect. On He's what? Our second musical guest. Who was our first? Ooh. Bobby Long. Oh. You just shafted Bobby Long. Let's start this whole. Let's start this whole thing. <laughs> I've, all I've been doing is shafting. And you're gonna start the revolution you, again. You oh. shafted a British Roberto, man. If I. <laughs> <laughs> not the first time he's done that. If I may, really not, quick. Not, not what I've heard. Bobby Long did not perform on the podcast. He just was interviewed. This is our first musical act who's going to perform music. Now you're arguing semantics. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first live music on your podcast. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. So you have to say that. Otherwise, Bobby Long's going to shaft you back. He is already thinking about it, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, so you have two. The rec- lawyers were coming. <laughs> <laughs> you have two records. Two. With sound of a smirk. Yes. They're both here. They are both here. Yes, on the- CD. Give me a quick little intro on them. Uh, she loves me. She loves me not. Um, the first record that I ever released. It was self-released. It was self-recorded. It was just acoustic. Me 
doing a little bit of like auxiliary percussion and some lead guitar and like little things like that. Um, that's that. Just pretty self-explanatory. And then the second record is Old Heart, New Love, which um, I had Chris, my friend Chris and my friend Steve on there. Um, as like a full band, we kind of flip-flop between some acoustic songs and some electric songs, like full band songs, and we, we sometimes integrated both into one. Um, they weirdly... I never really explained this, but they basically run into each other perfectly. Um, not at least thematically, they literally are a story. Ooh. So, if you follow the first record, it's like me falling in love and then kind of um, f- oh, not falling out of love, but being kind of just getting, ugh, so typical, like getting my heart broken in a sense. Um, but I mean, it's just me writing about that, and uh, so and- I wrote that as a full record. And then the second one picks up. Same song. Is it uh, autobiographical or is it fictional? It's about... No, no. It's, so it's all, it's all stuff inspired by, by my actual life and stuff. Okay. Um, I don't... Oh, no. I was about to say I don't say names. There is a song on the old record called End Annie, which is actually my ex-girlfriend Annie. Um, so there's that. That's going to be awkward. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, no, she, oh, she's, she lives in Pennsylvania. I don't think she has to worry about this. She's never going to listen. She doesn't have the internet. Yeah, she it's doesn't even. It's they Pennsylvania. Don't have, they don't have podcasts. They don't even know what the internet is. That's, it is where the Amish are from. Oh, God, yes. So, yes. Is she Amish? No. I, was I would say that's probably. I don't know a, if I date an Amish girl. It's probably a poor choice for someone to date, unless you're also Amish. Yeah, unless you're also. No offense to the Amish. For one thing, now we're just <laughs> shitting on the Amish, and I look, feel bad. Look, I'm going to I'm gonna pull a bit that I think is from Conan O'Brien, but. Um, you think. <laughs> Talk as much shit as you want about the Amish. You know why? They're literally never going to hear this. So <laughs> say whatever the fuck you want. That's actually very true. Oh, it's a David Tell joke. They also abuse horses. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait. So wait, we just shat so on the Amish dated, again. You dated a horse abusing I Amish did. lady. <laughs> and that record about that whoa, horse whoa, abusing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You fucked an Amish girl? I don't want to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting weird now. Is that where you have to fuck through a sheep? Uh, no, that's that's no, no, Judaism. Candlelight, candlelight. That's candlelight. Judaism. Oh, which realistically is how everyone should fuck. With Agreed. Candlelight. Yeah, yeah that's actually Strange really Ma- cute. While Strange Magic is playing, mm-hmm. it's like that's going to come up later in this interview. Oh, Strange Magic! Why would you ever say that I again? I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, so it's uh, like a fucking time warp. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are you going to play for us first? Oh, I'm going to play a song called "State Speed Limit." It is from uh, the new stuff that we're writing. So, the new record that new will meal. at some point release um i'm gonna play that song and then the uh, the next song is gonna be called force majeure cool all right so let's hear some music from jesse tepper aka sound of a smirk thanks You were driving me crazy In all the best ways My heart pumped octane Fill my throat with gasoline Burn my body to nothing Flashing lights and hazy dreams I need to stop now I need to scream I can't get enough of you I won't let go I won't Shifting my head swiftly Pump this substance sonically Fill my bones with all Burn my body till I can get up. One, two, three, four. 
flashing lights and hazy dreams I need to stop now I need to scream I can't get enough of you I won't let go I won't let through oh, oh. Calm me down and cool me My lungs are burnt with this gasping cough I need your hands and I need your tongue And calm me down and cool me off Yeah I need your hands and I need your tongue Calm me down and cool me off yeah, flashing lights and hazy dreams. I need to stop now. I need to scream. I can't get enough of you. I won't let go. I won't let through. Oh, oh, oh. I won't let go. I'll do, this is actually one of my favorite songs, so I'll, uh, I'll do a song called Force Majeure, which is a fun one. It's actually not fun, it's probably like miserable, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Sheets carry your scent, a lingering thought I can't miss. You could wear just cheap perfume, I'd still wallow in the shit. My fingertips laced with calluses. I touch you till you fold yourself and slide yourself gently into my heart. Pick up the ladder and follow me home. I've got a bed and a body for the warmth. I've got a head. I've got hands for this storm Be my thunder, I am Yeah Like a pocket watch You hold time but without you, I am blind A sundial spoke lies through shadows And I wasted two years on this Oh, I've got a twisted throat From screaming matches with walls I've got bruises I've got bruises on my hands I'm stopping myself from these harder falls. Pick up 
pick up the ladder and follow me home I've got a bed and a body for the war I've got a head and I've got hands for this storm be my thunder I am I am I am I press my body into calm Speak of imprints This will never leave This will never leave me Pick up the ladder And follow me home I've got a bed and a body for the warmth I've got a head And I've got hands for this storm Be my thunder I am I am I am I am I am the earthquake Jeff, you collect vinyl? Recently started, I guess. I, uh, Does that mean tonight? It, no, 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 not tonight. <laughs> um, uh, my father did give me all of his old records pretty recently, so. Cool. I would say the one in that group, he has a uh, two records bootlegged of Bob Dylan in Woodstock. One of them is Ooh. solo, and one is with the band. Ooh. So that's so is that awesome. like one of the basement tapes bootlegs? Yeah, I think that's so. Cool. Yeah. So, I mean, as far as something that's rare, and that, I mean, he definitely told me never to... <laughs> lose it or mm-hmm. get rid of it so so you had a good foundation for your collecting. yes yeah yeah i have a lot of stones and zeppelin and a bunch of bunch of good stuff that he's passed down it's a little worn but it's good that means it that means it's been used right, exactly it's a good thing it was loved yeah well exactly. yeah, we call it gently loved right <laughs> becca what about you um okay i guess mine is probably actually the green copy of england keep my bones <laughs> that i bought here and I like to think that record actually got me my job. It did. Co- yeah. <laughs> if you spend enough okay. money here, we will give you a job. <laughs> That's not true. No, no, no. no because I- I Aaron said that. that it like... <laughs> she so? texted me the second you bought that and said I should have hired that girl on the spot. Yeah, and it gave, it came with a good story also from what he told me that like I was secretly fighting an English guy over the phone for it. <laughs> Remember you said oh, yeah, the, guy the guy called? called yeah. And tried to buy it as I was commenting on Instagram (laughs) saying I wanted it. It was actually, uh, there were like multiple people who all expressed interest all within the very short time frame. I want to say there was three or four, which I think like two were genuine, you and one other guy. But I won. (laughs) I was fair and you had first dibs. So, And then you didn't flake. No, I didn't flake. Yeah, that's important too. A lot of times, you know, 
the comments on Instagram, they don't actually pan out to anything. No, I was worried because I was in Texas. Hmm. I was like, this is going to be gone by the time I get back. But not that I would really like also give up any of my records. But as far as the one I'd keep, I'm about to get like a bunch of you're a stupid white girl stares. But <laughs> I have a copy of Lana Del Rey's newest album that's like personally like to Becca, like love Lana Del Rey. So I, I don't think Ooh. I would get rid of that either. God, you're a stupid white girl. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you going to England? No, England's coming to her. Three weeks from today. When you go to England next. What was this? They won the... Oh, okay. uh, when you go, you know, let us know so you can pick up some UK presses. I will. Love I'm things. planning on going back in July, so... Booyah. To rub independence in their face? This is a fight I'm, I have with my boyfriend probably. She's going with Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a great American flag tank top you should wear. And a I, Donald Trump bumper sticker that I need I'll wear to that when I pick you. up my boyfriend from the airport. <laughs> oh, God, that makes me so happy. Can we just videotape that and put it up on our YouTube? Just had a great idea for a product. I'm ready. <laughs> we should, like, patent pending. Trump's making all the money on the Make America Great Again merch. Let's make Make America Great Again pasties. <laughs> I think they would really do well. I can get behind that. Well, isn't there, a, like, uh, isn't there a thing about how when the uh, Republican National Convention decides a location and convenes Just that... for the record, we have to cut all of this political <laughs> oh, Okay. <laughs> Don't they, 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 like, fly in escorts from all over the world because they make so much fucking money that it turns into like this this like I don't think the RNC <laughs> is the one flying them in but I think Correct. some smart they business people are flying yes. them in. Yes. except for when they were in Florida because Florida is the capital of that sort of business yes. in the country so they were good there Super Bowl too like Super Bowl is the big is bigger than yeah. the conventions I was reading that like the human trafficking out the wazoo for Super Bowl really yeah Mm-hmm. They get like underage it's girls from problem, China, yeah. Russia, all the you know Slovakian countries. <laughs> Is there more than one Slovakia? <laughs> yeah, those ones. Oh, Czechoslovakia, yeah. yeah. Slovenia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about WrestleMania, Girk? Well, how's, I, how's the human trafficking at WrestleMania? I, I never had I never had any run-ins with any prostitutes. Mm-hmm. I I honestly feel like they wouldn't come near any wrestling fans. Oh, <laughs> you raise so, a good point. I don't yeah. think no so. No amount of money would I don't know would get them near. I don't know. Versus yeah. football fans, there's I don't, there's prostitutes uh, for juggalos. True, so, true. Mm-hmm. but usually it's other juggalos. That's old juggalo. Yeah, that's all juggalettes. <laughs> I don't I don't know if that's true. There's that house in Florida. The Rising Sun? It's the, no, the no, Juggalo it's house, the but it's also full of prostitutes. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Is it talking yeah. Cat House? No, it's it's called yeah. like the Fun House, and it's run by this dude who's like this huge, obese Juggalo. Huge. Well, that, and it's a, basically like a... it's like a, a given. It's like a strip club. <laughs> that's a Juggalo. <laughs> and a house, and it's like a giant party oh, house. Oh, my God. That Juggalos go to and... Uh, and they just got... Uh, they they made headlines because he was offering um, free lap dances to any veteran on Veterans Day. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. I heard about that. <laughs> literally be a situation where you could say someone literally slipped, fell, and landed on someone's dick. Is this is, That house is exactly that situation. There's Fago <laughs> everywhere, and you know what I mean? Like, you're going to fall. It's, <laughs> it's bound to happen. STIs, STDs. STDs. STIs. Kids these days. Zika virus. <laughs> STIs and to STDs. I learned about STIs from a 14-year-old, I think, and I know how that sounds, but <laughs> <laughs> she was it, in the car. She gave one. Oh, she was in a car. That makes yeah. everything better. <laughs> I picked her up from school. <laughs> <laughs> this is only getting worse. <laughs> Vanessa, I'm sorry. Now you dropped her name? No, that's her mother. And uh, she, um, I don't know, I don't remember what the conversation was, but she said something about STIs. And Aaron and I were both like, STI? What the What the fuck are you talking about? And then we, it came out that she, it's the new STD. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they Same like changed thing, it. But disease oh, has wow. stigma attached to it. Correct. So they, oh. Because disease <laughs> technically is not the correct word, because a disease implies like a, a very specific set of parameters that STIs don't apply to. It's not a disease. It's an infection. Those are two different things. This is getting That's real. why. So they're just correcting like the terminology. Like an infection can be cleared up. What did they call HIV and AIDS originally? Grids. Grid. Gay-related yeah. oh, immunodeficiency. This is starting off in a way less horribly offensive way, but this is a very similar scenario. It's using proper terminology. That's all. But to be clear... Kind of like toddler. If someone, ah. if you're hanging out with a girl and she's like, "Hold on, I gotta I like tell you, I got, I got an infection versus I got a disease," your reaction's gonna be the same. Yeah. Either way, I'm leaving. <laughs> Either way, I'm in. Bad pickup lines. I've got an infection. Hey. Well, you're about to get an infection. I thought you were gonna say, "I got an infection. You're about to get a disease." <laughs> <laughs>
You're about to get. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to get the D. I mean, a disease. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So rare collectibles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we we sort of talked about records in the last hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the next podcast we're going to do is going to be coming out in March, and it will be our Record Store Day podcast. We're going to talk mm. about things that are coming out, all the exclusive releases. The Ambassador. We're going to talk about The Ambassador. Z- People already know who The Ambassador is. So that'll be our next podcast. Maybe there'll be guests. Maybe there won't. Maybe you won't know until you get here. Maybe someone will have an infection. Maybe someone will have a disease. Or a birthday. If I get lucky, I'll get a disease. I promise I'll tell you. He got it. He got it. I'll tell you guys if we have guests coming next time. It's Frightened Rabbit, right? What? No, wait. No. I'm fucking up. I'm not going to say it. It was Tom But I know what it is. My bum is on the plant. Oh, Oh, yeah. And if I I I get lucky, lucky, I'm going to get a disease. Yeah. If you were really good, you would have just given me a loon sound effect yep. at the end of that. <laughs> Damn it. I thought you said Tom Clancy when you first said that. <laughs> yeah, that's Tom really Clancy's late. most famous song, My <laughs> Bum is on Your Lips. Remember that? Yes. It was in the Navy right Seals movie. Right after Patriot Games. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I guess this is probably a good time to, to say, uh, you know, if you listen and you find a correction, something you want to correct us on in the podcast, uh, just use the hashtag <laughs> Dark Side Podcast. Literally no one has ever used that but us. I've, no. I've checked it. No. <laughs> I listened to an old podcast, and Evan used it once. I'm pretty sure I remember that tweet, and I think it was snarky. It was definitely snarky. <laughs> Happy birthday, Girk. Hey. Happy birthday, hey. Girk. Hey. Happy birthday. Hey. And Both Jesse. You. Oh, thank, thank you. Oh, yeah, him too. Thank Sound you. effect yeah. guy. We're yeah. going to put Jesse and Girk together for a birthday, and it's just the Jerk birthday. That was I'm so terrible. Offended. No, what? That that was, <laughs> can we be like Sound of a Girk? Oh. oh! That's what you can call your split single, Sound of a Girk. Oh, my God! Oh. This sounds great. I was a rapper in high school, so. What was your rap name? T Gurks. That's, that's pretty much your name. <laughs> I feel like that's, you can do better. My, my rap spoke for themselves. Can yeah, you shoot us a verse? Yeah, actually, I'll give you the, the beginning line of my song. Go. It was Hello there, gents. It's your boy T Gurks. Fix me up a double quarter pounder with the works. That's how I ordered my <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> so, is that it for, is that for this episode? You guys want to rap? Sure. No, I just did. <laughs> Next guy's hosting. Dropping the mic. Well done. So this has been episode fourteen of the Dark Side Podcast. Do we want to do a coupon code this episode? Uh, the coupon code is consent. <laughs> it's all about consent. Mm-hmm. So uh, there you go. Say that coupon code when you come in. Only valid until the next podcast, or apparently if you're Jeff, like two years later. <laughs> When you try to use it. To be fair, you didn't put an expiration date on the first one. No, we did. To be fair, I want to say maybe two people total have ever redeemed a, a coupon code. Code word Comanche so. got a redemption. Twi- two, two redemptions. Did you Cobra Can, Command? Yes. Cobra Comanche. Yes. Cobra Comanche. <laughs> That's his horse. His evil horse. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be back in about a month. Cool. Until then, I'm JB. I'm Tyler. No, you're T-Gurk. Try that one Everyone's more time. Everyone's yelling in the mics. I am Gurk. JJ. I'm Birdo. Jesse. And I'm Jeff. This has been the Dark Side Podcast. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Nay.